Hi guys, how you doing and welcome back to Crazy Bake to me uh, today. At the minute it's just me cooking. Um, Mum's just quickly popped over to my sister's house so hopefully she will be probably in the middle of the video or the end of the video. Um, going to be doing an old classic school cake. Um, an old school sprinkle cake. Um, I've got all the ingredients set up over there. Um, Excuse me. Today's recipe may be a bit different um, as I'll show you putting some of the ingredients in and I'll mix it up. I won't film it because my tripod's a bit stiff at the minute so I can't actually undo it all and get it down. Um, so yeah, so we just have to bear with the video today. Um, but yeah, I've got the ingredients set. I'm just going to get a bowl. I'll wash my hands and we'll crack on with today's video. Right. Right, so what I'm going to do is going to run through the f we have here. We have ingredients: 350 grams of sour raisin flour, or you can use cake flour or plain flour. I'm using uh, 330 grams of caster sugar, using one um, one tablespoon of baking powder just because I really want it fluffy and really nice and risen um, there's the sugar sorry uh, 330 grams of sugar this is the margarine which is 200 grams we've got two teaspoons of vanilla extract three eggs 180 ml of milk and we also have half a teaspoon of bar carbonated soda you don't have to add the bar carbonated soda but I just do because obviously it reacts with the baking powder which gives you a nice soft cake so yeah that's the ingredients and let's get so what I'm gonna do is add all I'm gonna add my sugar my marge and you want to cream them together just come back over here I'm going to add my baking powder in there my bar carbonated soda into the flour as well and then we will leave them to one side for a minute go back over here we're going to mix this together So yeah, I'm going to just, sorry about the focus, it's, this camera is really shocking. So we just want to cream this together and we will be back. Yeah, so you just want to cream these together, this finally sorted it out the focus. Just cream them all together. You want them, all the sugar mixed in before you add any of your other ingredients. Right, so once you've creamed all of it together like that, you're going to want to add your vanilla extract or you can use vanilla bean paste. We haven't got much vanilla bean paste left so I'm using extract. Your three eggs. <clears throat> 180 ml of milk mix this together and then the last thing is add your flour also I've got a line tray I can't remember the size but I will let you know so yeah now we've just got to mix without getting there with this all together Right, so once you've mixed it all up, sorry about the focus again, I do apologise, is you add your flour. You just add your flour, I'm going to add it all in, and then just smack any lumps out, Ooh. is mix all this in, slowly, until there's no flour left. Look. Right, so once that's all mixed in and it's nicely, you've got most of the lumps out, 
to discard this and then put it into your baked line tray for roughly about it'll go in the oven for about gas mark for somewhere like that for about uh, I'd say about okay finishing off my phone quickly as I was saying before my battery died um, I've just poured it in as you see me hopefully at the end if you didn't I do apologize so I've just finished mixing it in there um, put it in here it's gonna go in the oven for roughly about gas mark for roughly about 20 minutes it may take longer between some ovens may take 40 minutes it might take half hour but ours has been preheated for about 15 minutes already so middle shelf I'm gonna put it on for 20 minutes and we will be back and to check on it and I'll let you know how long it actually takes I'm so just going to quickly run through the ingredients for the icing so we've got 450 grams of icing a teaspoon of vanilla 100 ml of water you may need more but just do it a little bit at a time because or if you want more it depends how thick you want your icing but there's 100 ml there anyway and then obviously colourful sprinkles there so this one's just really easy just pour your vanilla in and just add your water a little bit at a time remember you can always add but you can't take away in other words don't pour it all in at once I want my icing fairly thick anyway so yeah I'm gonna just quickly do this off of the camera just so it makes it easier so I'm not holding the camera right so as you can see I've finished put mixing it all in it's to the thickness that I want you can see it leaving a little pattern there on the top um, the cake obviously is still in the oven um, so that's that done ready for when the cake has cooled right down and then you've got the sprinkles I've used about 75 ml of water there's about 25 ml because I'm holding it but on a flat surface there you go, there's about 25, just a little tad under 25 mil there. So about 75 mil I used out of 100. But yeah, that is all until the cake has cooled down now. So see you guys in a bit. There you go guys, it's out of the oven. It's sat for a good hour to cool right down. It has got a dip in the middle because obviously I opened it up just to see if it was cooked and it wasn't cooked all the way through. So it was actually in the oven for 25 minutes. As I've taken it out, it has broken off. So I've got the icing and we're gonna put it on top. But obviously I can't hold the camera and do that at the same time. Right, so what you do after that's what it's like. You put all the icing on it and the sprinkles. I've done that off the camera just so it makes it easier to do it rather than hold the camera as well. Um, nice soft sponge. Let me see here. Lovely and soft. You can have it like this, or an old school way. Sponge with custard. Oh yes, <clears throat> beautiful. Um, I'll just my mummy's back now, so I'll give her a call so she could try it. Mum, yeah? wanna come try this cake? Probably not the best common day. I know she's just eating her dinner, so it's probably not the best, but. Um. a fork or a spoon? Ooh. <laughs> she's back. She had her hair done to that, is she? <laughs> <laughs> There's a bit there. Oh. Uh... One more time. I'll just see what you think of it. I've got a bit of custard. Yum, yum, yum. Cake before dinner. For dessert before dinner, shall they? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Nice sponge, that. Right? Very nice. Lovely sponge. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Probably better when the icing's got a bit hard. We'll set a I like bit. sponges we might. Mmm. 
takes me back to school. Mm. Apart from the custard used to be pink. <laughs> Nice yeah, maybe that'll be the next one, a coconut one. Mm. Just do some old school classic sponge. Oh, or chocolate with chocolate we used to have. Chocolate cake with chocolate. With chocolate. <laughs> uh, chocolate cake with chocolate, mm. you know. Mm. Custard. Mm. Yeah, much I'm getting it down myself. <laughs> yeah, so that is actually Really nice. I mean, I'm, I'm eating dessert before dinner. Mmm. Mm. Bit backwards, but nice with the custard and it, the icing melts. Really is delish. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I might do some more, like my aunt said. I might do a coconut one, like old school. Um. I started the video earlier. It was a bit daylight outside. Now it's not done. <laughs> It is currently 20 past 7, as you see it's dark out there, um, so this video was short for you, but long for us. But the video um, didn't take long, it's no. just because uh, I got distracted yeah. by the grandkids. So, so now I'm just going to actually upload it, which will take the time, um, but yeah that is mm. delicious. So yeah. Very nice. If you enjoyed that video, please give it a big thumbs up. I know I got a blue thumb. Don't worry about that. <laughs> I was just doing yeah. doing some bits with the kids, drawing and stuff. Um, so yeah, give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Turn the little bell notification on so you get notified whenever we upload a video. Yeah. Now we will see you guys. Yeah, it'll be my mum on the next video. Oh, will Yep, yeah, doing her coconut sponge or whatever she wants to do. Um, probably be the weekend. I know we did say that the last video we'd do a load of videos over the weekend, but we actually we just, we just didn't have we got time. distracted by other stuff. Like um, you do. Enjoying life like you do. Um, and yeah, but anyway, so the next video will be my mum doing it. She's gonna be doing whatever she wants to do, um, and I'll be the film filmmaker. I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll think of something. So it'll be over the weekend, it'll either be Saturday or Sunday or something like that. Um, so yeah, we'll catch you guys soon. Bye for now. Bye for now. <laughs>